Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'll be showing you how to root channels through buses in Logic. Using buses is an extremely important part of using effects and controlling your outputs. So to use buses it's very easy. On your channel, underneath audio effects, click on send, go down to bus, and then you can create a new bus on any channel available. This will now show you your bus on the right of your channel, and it will also appear in your mixer. Now to use it, I'll show you a very obvious example of it working. So go onto our bus, click on audio effects, and apply some bit crusher. So I'll just slam that out a bit so you can really hear it. Now with this setup, what the bus will do is send a certain amount of the distortion signal to your channel. You control that amount with this dial here. So I'll play this kick and slowly bring in the distortion. You can also change the output of your channel so then the entire signal is being sent to this bus which will also give the full distortion signal. So to do that we'll go over to stereo out, click and hold, go down to bus and it'll change the output to our bus. Now if we play it, it has a full distortion signal. Changing the output can be very useful if you want to apply the exact same amount of effects on multiple channels. So if I wanted the same reverb and the same amount of reverb on each channel, I would apply a reverb to a bus and change the stereo output on each channel to that bus so each part would be receiving the same amount. An important thing to remember is that you can send as many channels to the bus as you like and use the same bus on as many channels as you like. So I've set up a simple drum beat here with every part separated to apply different amounts of effects on each using a bus. So I'll be using a bus with a compressor on it and I'd send more signal of that to the kick and the snare and less to the hi-hats as I'd want them to have more punch. So here I've set up two simple buses, one with compression and one with reverb. Both will be applied differently to each channel so they're both on different buses so you can be more precise. So here are the drums as normal. And here it is with the effects applied. You can use any effects you want on buses, but these are the most commonly used ones for processing drums. You can apply as many buses to a channel that you want, and as many effects to that bus as you want, all within reason of course. Using routing is a really effective and efficient way to produce your tracks by both keeping your projects tidy and keeping things consistent with your sounds. I hope this video has been useful, and if you have any questions please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching, cheers.